What's going on guys, it's your boy JP bring episode 12 of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy OV Duelist Let's Play. So we are here with a brand new session. In fact, I just want to say the session is about a week and a half maybe off of the last one. Just because I've been super busy and all. And I just gotta say, I can't wait to hop right into this because I've just been excited to play, excited to progress, get through to the next chapters in the game. I can't wait. So last episode, memory serves right, we dueled Mai as Yugi in the Duelist Kingdom. So today, if it follows the anime, we should be versing Bandit Keith. So, let's go. Campaign, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep, we are versing Bandit Keith. Nice, also I just want to say, I did do a little bit of grinding off screen, I didn't really have much time to do much, but I did go back and do all the opposite things where I could, you know, play as Yugi. Or players, you know, just do this basically. So there we are. Anyway, we're gonna be playing as Joey versus Keith. It's gonna be interesting. Let's go. The second semi-final match was Joey versus Bandit Keith. In order to complete <laughs> to compete in the duel, each contestant had to represent his tournament card entry entry card, which Joey shockingly did not have. Unknown to Joey, Bandit Keith stole Joey's entry card the night before. Per the rules of a tournament, Joey was granted 5 minutes to find his card or be disqualified. Joey searched everywhere but wasn't able to find it. On his way back to the arena, he broke down in the hallway. Sorry sis, I came close, real close. Get up off the floor Joey and quit all your crying already, you're like a big baby. Who's crying? I got something in my eye. Stupid thing won't come out. My handed him her handkerchief. Here, just don't go blowing your nose in it. You know, every time I think I've got you figured, you surprise me, huh? Tan told me about your little sister. How are you dueling to win the tournament prize money for her so she can have that operation? Something like a bad soap opera, to be honest, but then, who doesn't love a bad soap opera? Anyway, see you around, hon. As Maya walked away, Joey noticed she had hidden her tournament entry card in the handkerchief. Wait, Maya. Take it. I don't need it anymore. One thing though. Huh? Take down. <laughs> take Panda Keith down. Joey ran back to the arena. So if a punk's coming back to give us the bad news, huh? Let me guess, you couldn't find that card anywhere. What are you talking about? I got it right here. Alright, Keith. Time to do it. Fine. You know, I put me wanted you to show up. A little nice warm mash might do me some good. I'll warm you up and wear you down. Wear you out, I think it said. I'm not paying attention. I hear things going out, out, out on outside my room. I can't speak. And it's distracting me because I'm thinking what's going on. Tell me how it feels to be an amateur going up against the Intercontinental Dueling Champion. Ooh, the Intercontinental Dueling Champion. Ooh, wait, Championship. I could win a better prize with the point of the cereal. A punk. I'll teach you to respect my title. Let's go. Story deck. Alright, there we are. Probably should have read that a little bit faster, but as I said, I'm paying attention to things outside my room. It's distracting me. Not good thing, though. Alright, so we're gonna go first. As I always say, this is old rule style, and I'd rather go first with the slower decks just so you can build up the field. I just always find it a better thing to do. Okay, so right off the bat, we can tell Joey's gotten some new cards. Hmm, so I'm gonna set this just because we don't know what to expect, and we got two decently good trap cards, really good in this meta. Well, I mean, the meta, you know, the game current meta, this one, in the duelist thing, yeah. Because these cards are practically useless in the actual 2017 meta, like, you never see anyone play them. Oh, trap hole, kind of, but that's it. You don't see it really often, but only in those rogue decks. Oh. Varro Dragon? I know what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to deal with his effect. Bye bye. Alright, good thing he's gone, because that could have actually been a major threat to us, and X Raider, hello. So, oh no, there's no point flipping that because it's got really weak attack. Ha. Huh. Alright, let's just go then. Nice. So, two. Actually, if he pays 2000 life points again, they will be good for us because we could Sekiretsu armor. Oh, there we go. 2000. So, we can use Sekiretsu armor, take it out, and then he'll practically be dead next turn. And I don't care if he gains more attack because he's dead. Like, you don't do anything, buddy. 
Now I just hope he doesn't have any sort of back row or special. Okay. So we're good. We basically... Oh, hello. I want to defeat you with this guy. Hey. Here we are. Alright. There we are. This is actually kind of easier than I was expecting. Next thing is Gauze. <laughs> Imagine that. He just like summons Gauze. He's like, nope. And I don't have any back row to defend him off this time, so it would suck. No way he beat me. This duel doesn't count. The entry card that Joey showed to opponent's match wasn't even his. Therefore, the duel shouldn't count, and he ought to be disqualified right there. Or oh, here, I didn't even see what it said. He's around. My card was missing, so Mike gave me hers. But tell me, Keith, how could you have known that it wasn't my card? Uh, I'm all here, so why don't you explain yourself? It doesn't need to. It's clear that Keith stole Joey's card. That's why he was so certain that you would never be able to find it. Take these grass <laughs> counter away. Far away. No. Now, I'm pretty sure. If I remember right, I haven't watched the original series in sub yet, but in the dub, Pegasus makes him go falling into the ocean. But I've heard in the sub, he does something else, like, I don't think he murders him, but it's something more intense. I can't remember though. Anyway, we've got a decent amount of stuff. How much battle points of DP do we get from that? Okay. Oh, that's gonna be fun. But next, we're gonna do this in reverse. And just because, why not? You know, it's my little trend. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, sweet. First, second, first. I wonder how much, or how many episodes the season will have, or this series, let's play, whatever you wanna call it, will have. Because there's, I'm assuming, 10 to 20. Excuse me, 10 to 20 duels per chapter or section, I should say, whatever suits your needs. But, ah, oh, this is a great hand. Great. But, I don't know. We may, or we're most likely going to do some more things after that, but I just don't know what to expect because of this may be a longer let's play. To be honest, I'm not complaining. I'm looking forward to having a longer one because I I love this game. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. The only issue that I have is is that how long it's gonna take me to record all. Like, god damn. <laughs> I would just like I'm so excited to get to the future parts where I just want to play and progress, but like it takes time, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna pay 2k because why not? Although it's kind of dumb because of why would you summon that and back where it's obviously some sort of trap. Well, at least it would be the most logical explanation. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why you would do that, but oh. Hello. This is Honest Birthlight. Shit, we... Mm, why couldn't he have just destroyed our Metal Morph? That's actually really bad for us. At least we get to see the animation, that's cool. Alright. It's not really worth it. Wait, what was this guy's defense? Uh, I'll say yes, and I'm hoping. Okay, 25. Uh, hmm. I kind of just want you just in case we get some sort of equip card. Oh? What? Oh no. When he played Metal Morph, I was thinking to myself, what if he has Black Metal Dragon? And I was like, nah. Well, he wouldn't at least have it at this point. And then when he tripped me, I was like, he's not that dumb, how? And then th he has it, what? Or can he summon it from his deck? Wait. Um, ah, okay. That's really weird. And I, I never really used that card. The only time I ever like saw it was in Japanese too, so I kind of forgot what it did. Okay. No, I don't even know. At this point, there isn't really much we can do. 
But to be honest with you, I kind of find the dumb that he is tributed because a middle morph gives him extra attack. So why would he tribute it? Sure, he gets like extra base attack, you could say, but he gets extra attack. Like he gets half of the once his attack that he's attacking. So what's the point? Okay. That's cool. Man, I was originally thinking that we're gonna have a shorter episode, but I guess not. Yes. Now, please. Karibos, be on my side. Please. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Wait, what? But, what? I'm sorry. Two of them were heads. The first one was Karibo, and there were two eyes. Or is it. Kar what? I'm so confused. Ah. Uh, I don't even know what to think right now. What the hell? Oh, of course. Of course. Whoop. That's great. But I gotta rewatch that when I'm editing. I could have sworn that was two eyes. And I'm pretty sure eyes accounted as head. Because why else would tails be a fucking Kribon? I don't even know. Because Kribon obviously has a tail. I'm so confused right now. I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Huh. That is really damn odd. But I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. We still would have lost anyway. Sure could have used my track card. Or whatever it was. Spell card to bring back monster and attack with. And it could have went our way. It just would have been very unlikely. And I like this. Hello. I wonder if Metal Zoa has the same sort of effect as Red Eyes Black Metal. Guess we'll find out. Alright. I'm gonna summon you just because of I want to be able to save seven slots for this guy. And I don't want to die like right now. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, this is gonna be annoying. No. <laughs> Why? Oh. Okay, good thing I have. Two? Wait. Why? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Use it to destroy it? Okay. No. No. Alright. So it's actually really bad for us that he destroyed that because there's not really much else we can do now. I kind of want to just attach Myrtle Morph to Zora right now. I just I was afraid of um Mirror Force, but eh, this isn't that bad. Kunawa Chain isn't that much of a threat, and if he goes to attack this somehow, I can just use Mega Metal Morph. And the highest one tribute attack he has is 2200, I believe, for what we've seen so far. So, Metal Morph double of him anyway should be perfectly fine. Now, I hope that's not a Mirror Force right there, because that will definitely screw us over. Seven completed. I just called it seven slots earlier, didn't I? Huh. Well, I wasn't very smart. Alright. So I really don't see a point in equipping Metal Morph right now, just because of I'm afraid for a Mirror Force, and not just that, there's... <sighs> Alright, no Mirror Force yet. Okay. No. And also I want to be able to save it, so if he somehow puts my thing to defense again, then I'll just use Metal Morph to raise its attack and defense, because of it does that. So, you know, it's basically giving him a little bit of extra damage. And what is this guy trying to go for right now? Um. What the? 
He has enemy controller, I think. He wouldn't have shrink or rush reckless, would he? What's he trying to do? Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna risk it. I am not doing calculations. I want to see how far we turn out. Oh, what? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I didn't want to do calculations. I was just like, fuck it. I want to see how, how well we do. Alright. Well, we basically lost this now. Okay. Unless we can somehow manage to get another tribute thingy. I forget what it's called. The field spell. So now he's got red eyes. 2400. Do we have anything? I mean, we've got seven completed with this guy, so... The only way we can win this is if we s no. Huh. This is stronger than was. Well, this can bring out Zola, which is stronger than Red Eyes. So, unless this is some sort of actual trap, we're good. Let's see. Battle phase. <gasps> Oh, I just thought I clicked an oil on the battle phase. I was gonna be like, whoop. Alright, so let's go. So, he's already used Metal Morph. I used to love this card, dude. I used to be my favorite, my favorite machine monster. Uh, I'm not complaining because no one has to attack Blast Sphere. Ooh. Yeah, this ain't turning out very good in my half. What? Bitch. Nothing we can do. God damn, this guy is impossible to duel with. What? You just get the most stupid cards. Oh shit! Wait. Metal Zola has 3k attack, I just realized. Huh. Alright, we are going in again using the story deck. I sure do hope that this won't take too long because this guy is kind of hard to deal with. His deck is just too reliant on high level creatures so you don't get the field spell, you're practically dead. Or if Joey gets rid of it, you're dead again. So, I don't know. This is one hard card to... Uh, f f the deck to play with and what the hell is this? What? Like <laughs> the only thing that would even make this head good if is if I got oh no, flame swordsman. But the only thing that make this deck good oh is if I uh get that royal tribute, the field spell, so I can summon out barrel dragon and then use the seven the completed cards on it because of it is. It always sets to machine monster, and I can easily get myself 2100 attack. Ah, what the f. This deck is rigged. It's literally rigged. I can't do anything. My god. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I can't even summon it now because I have no life points. <laughs> what if it is my luck? Alright. Is this even a machine? Or it is. So, literally, the last thing that I can do or rely on 
is one of these really shitty machine cards. And the seven completed. So if he has mirror force, I'm dead. If he has metal morph, kind of dead. I don't even know, dude. All I know is this guy is gonna be pumped with attack just to get myself killed. Keith, dude, is Keith suicidal or something? Like, I know some of you guys are like, don't joke about it, but like, look at his deck. It's literally just. It's made to lose. Alright, show me your mirror force. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that was practically impossible. Okay. Okay, let's go again. Hopefully, we can win this time and actually get a decent hand, you know? So, this is literally like based on luck. The first duel when you're first in Joey was easy, but now I know why, because this guy has a badass deck. Actually, maybe with this deck, it's better going second, because you don't get the first turn draw anymore. So, your second turn, I'll get the first draw. Oh no, but then Joey might have a better chance at setting up in the first turn, so... It, it's... I, I don't know... I'm just gonna set one and pass because I know he has M MST. And MST. Yep, there we are. I just wanted to bait it out because we have another Metal Morph and not just that, but if I summon the Field Spell card, I wouldn't really want to lose that. Alright, oh, come on. Pendulum. I always found it weird how this is called Pendulum Machine and now they're like cards called Pendulum. I don't know. Oh, tributing? Can it. Oh, good thing it's a weak one because, like, we might. Yeah, we could take it out if we get the field spell. So, currently, with our uh, life points, we're about to summon one level 5, 6, and. Uh, okay. Dude, this deck is rigged. It's, it's fucked. I don't know what to say, it's just broken. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, if I had Birthlight, this wouldn't actually be that bad. I'm just gonna get rid of you. Because if I be able to just bring one back from the grave, equip 7 complete, and Metal Morph, and I'm good. But, look, watch, I'm gonna get something like that now. Watch, watch me just get. Oh, okay. This. <laughs> what the fuck? I, this is literally the most dumbest deck I've ever seen. Jeez. Well, I'm gonna like spend time trying to beat Keith with this deck off screen and it's gonna be impossible. I. You, all you do is get lucky, that's all I have to say. You have to get lucky with that deck. But anyway. I wanna check real quick. How many. Wait, this is campaign complete. A point nine. Ah. So, if, how many duels have I done? This is episode 12, so I've done 12 duels. So, there's a lot of duels in this. God damn. I can't wait. So anyway, this has been it for this episode of Yu-Yo Legacy of Duels. If you have enjoyed, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go eat dinner. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me get a pop when the beat goes.